Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to take a look at Habs prospect Ryan Paling and discuss how this young whippersnapper has been playing of late with the Laval Rocket. And in short, things have been good. But before we get into this, if you guys are a fan of the Habs or just hockey in general, please consider subscribing to my channel, guys, as I upload hockey content daily and would really enjoy having you guys tag along for the ride. Now, I was going to add this in my news video a couple of days back, but hey, I figured our boy Paling, you know, he deserves another video here as the man has been on fire. Now, I spoke about this guy a little while back here and he was already exceeding my expectations at this point, but now what he's done is gone above and beyond. The guy is tearing the shit out of the AHL right now, as he now has 25 points in 28 games. And you know, has been on freaking fire down there, if I hadn't already mentioned that. That includes 11 goals, guys. And let me tell you, he's been working his ass to the bone for each and every one of them. I've watched quite a few Laval games, and I can tell you, he's scoring on power plays, he's scoring on breakaways, he's creating his own space out there, and you know, his wrist shot, yeah, seems to be getting pretty pretty effective out there, or at least I can confirm it's uh, much better than mine. And it was only last season, you know, when I was kind of meh about paling, but playing under Joel Bouchard in the AHL is just what the doctor ordered for this guy, as he's having quite a season for himself. And let's not forget here, this 2017 first round draft pick for the Habs just turned 22 years old a couple of months ago, so yeah, he's still pretty young and has a lot of time to make some noise. Now, now, do I think he's going to be a big point producer in the NHL? Well, I'm optimistic. I mean, I'm not saying yes, it's going to be a for sure thing, but he's definitely catching my eye with his play right now. Not only is the guy putting up points, but he's also still smart defensively. He's always been reliable, and he's reliable on the penalty kill, and he just plays a complete game on both ends of the ice. I think Paling is going to have a bright future in the NHL, to be quite honest and who knows maybe he can be an effective third line center one day in the NHL preferably for the Habs or if not maybe you know our boy can be used for some trade bait huh huh <laughs> I mean, at that age, this particular player would draw a lot of attention from other teams around the NHL. You'd have to think, right? So, there. There's some food for thought, guys. Food for thought. Some of you guys may be thinking, hey, Paling is already 22. Nothing to get too excited about here, junkie. He probably ain't worth a bag of ketchup chips. Well, don't forget, guys. Bell Dino? Yeah. You're a fan favorite? Not really, but Phil Deneau, he didn't exactly have a wonderful little path making his way up to the NHL either. Personally, I think the guy should remain in Lavelle for the remainder of the season, unless, of course, some crazy amount of injuries happen. But why not leave him down there? I mean, let him build his confidence level up at an all-time high and then reassist the player during training camp next season and see where he fits in. Honestly, I think this would be the best course of action to take with Paling. Because, I mean, it would really, chap my ass if this guy were to be caught up right now just to sit and watch the Habs play hockey or you know play a game on the fourth line between Lekkinen and Byron or something and then he goes scoreless for a couple of games and gets sent back down no screw that shit anyway guys I just wanted to make it clear how good this guy has been playing of late I mean after all we have all been so caught up in the tornado of drama right now that's been twisting around the Habs organization <sighs> It's been quite a shit tsunami around here, so there's been so much negativity. So I figured, hey, why not talk about something positive for a change and give it up for my man, Ryan Paling. Yeah! So let me know in the comment section how you guys are currently feeling about Paling right now, you know, with how well he's been playing for the Rocket, and let me know what you guys think this guy's chances are at being a full-time NHLer one day, potentially for the Habs. And as always, have a good day.